Before starting, identify the proper orientation of the propeller you are replacing. The two orientations are left and right, and can be identified by matching the left and right propeller blade curvature with the curvature of the left and right hand. Reference this chart to locate the proper orientation of the propeller you are replacing. The tools that will be used throughout this tutorial can be found in your Mission Specialist Toolkit. A propeller holding tool, a quick change screwdriver with the included nut socket, a 3mm hex bit, pliers, and the collet puller tool. It's important to note that you should avoid any side force to the thruster shaft. Breaking the shaft will result in the thruster needing to be replaced. Start by inserting the propeller holding tool between the propeller blades, followed by inserting the nut socket through the center of the propeller holding tool. Simply loosen the nut. Do not unscrew the nut completely. And then remove the propeller. Loosen the nut on the new propeller and then install it onto the thruster shaft. Using the propeller holding tool and nut driver, tighten the nut of the new propeller onto the thruster shaft. If the inner collet is causing the propeller to be stuck, remove the nut completely, followed by the propeller blades. Remove the plunger from the collet puller tool. Thread the collet puller onto the collet. Then insert the unthreaded side of the plunger into the center of the collet puller. Use the quick change screwdriver with the 3mm hex bit to begin tightening the plunger while holding the collet puller in place with the pliers. Doing so should loosen the collet from the shaft of the thruster. If you encountered any issues during this process, please contact VideoRay's customer support at support at VideoRay.com.